Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. I thought I'd throw this together. Um, it may be of use to people. Um, it may not. Um, my cache, if you understand what that is, has been cleared down. <laughs> if you don't, don't worry about it. I'm just trying to get this somewhere near square with the camera. Oh, that's about as good as I'm going to get it, I think. But I still need to be able to use the laptop. Um, right, the GVOS 2020 videos, I can't say across the board, but I'm going to have a go at playing with the concept of the search. Um, my search engine is Google, that's what I use. There are others. Um, Firefox, I think, is one. There are other ways of searching the internet. This is probably by far the most popular and certainly has the most powerful search engine by far. I'm not mucking about. <laughs> you can put a, an obscure search in here and come up with 10,000 results of 120,000 results in like two seconds. Nothing can top that. Anyway, our search tag was... Where's my hashtag gone? Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> so, there's, there's some keys on my laptop that are not where they used to be on a traditional keyboard. Um, so we'll put in GVOS 2020. So this is just a random search on Google now. And straight away you can see we are getting YouTube videos. Yeah, coming up. Oh, we've even found mine. <laughs> now in theory, given that my cache was cleared down, this Google search has no knowledge of me at the moment, in theory. I'm not logged into anything, so for mine to come up second, I'm quite pleased. Who's come up above me then? I uh, can't, can't see whose channel it is. <laughs> but there again, I can't see that that uploaded by uploaded by Orchid D. Well done! Yay! <laughs> anyway, I don't suppose these are in any order. This is just but just as a look. Yeah? I mean, I can go to page 5 here and uh we're still getting stuff with with this in, but we're also getting other things. So, at the moment, that's a general search. Right, if we get back up to the top, the next thing we want to do is find YouTube itself. Because in the main, that's certainly where my main interest is. I like to see videos. It's my media that I use the most. All the time. <laughs> you mean the most? All the time. Although I do take stills occasionally, but not very often. Um, it's what I like. It, to me, it's the difference between a book and a film. That's the difference between a still and a video. Uh, that's just me. Um, right, so what we're after here is um, finding YouTube. Uh, YouTube.com, that sounds somewhere near it. Okay, we're, we're into generally into YouTube now. This is probably their home page with recommended things for you to go and watch and waste all your time with, which you don't want to do today. You don't want to do any of that. What you want to do is stick this search back in. Now we're searching YouTube. And how dare people come up above my video. <laughs> That's Lynn. God, you can clip around here. And Orchid D, that may be one of the ones we saw earlier. But um, this will entail a problem. Okay, so we've now found the YouTube videos. Um, they're probably not in um, any order, um, but Orchid D's is going mad. Yeah, I mean, this gives you a very brief outline of what's going on. Lynn's obviously hasn't been up there long, one view. Um, that one's been up there 18 hours. Well, that must have started a bit early. Consequently, a lot of views. Mine's been up an hour. It's, it's, it's going along nicely. Um, but this is the bit I want to get at. Right? These are all YouTube videos. And I want to point out that as I'm going down, each one of these videos that's got that tag on it, that's the reason it's come up in the search. Whether it's got the hash uh, character or not, they're still coming up. It's a major hit on the search engine. That's why they all needed to have that at the start of their title. It was important. But as you're coming down here, you've got a bonus. 
because you may see channels you've never heard of. And if they've got quite a high number of views for the amount of time they've been loaded, they're probably quite a big channel. And they may have a lot of subscribers. They may post very, very frequently. They might have stuff you really, really like, and yet you've never heard of them. So this has given us an opportunity to find some more orchid channels. Why am I telling you this? You're all going to wander off and watch other people's stuff now instead of watching my stuff. Ooh. Points gun to head, bang. <laughs> I don't mind helping out. I, you know, People have helped me in the past, so I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, as you come down here, you're, you're getting the channels that have loaded videos. Um, I'm going to keep going until... Right, there's one I haven't heard of, but looking at the um, characters, which are non standard characters in my type of language I probably wouldn't be able to understand the speech in the video um, yeah but you're getting channel names here now there's one I've never heard of you see what I'm getting at um, there's lots on here that I have heard of and a lot of these are people that I know from comments on my own channel but in amongst here Lucy the cat doing videos. Good stuff. <laughs> it gets to all of us eventually. All these people who are regular commenters, eventually they give in and do a video. I mean, at the end of the day, most phones can do a, you know, a reasonable video nowadays. It's just having the nerve and a, a little bit of... Um, understanding on how to get the flipping thing up onto YouTube but there's plenty of YouTube videos telling you how to do it there's a YouTube video to tell you how to do everything I think there's even some to tell you how to get dressed in the morning and feed yourself should you need to go to that level but this is what I'm getting at there's lots of channels mentioned here um, and some of these I've not heard of so this is a good way now, because of the search engine's way that it works against our code of getting some new channels to watch, which also gives some newer channels a chance to be watched. Yeah? So for all those new and up-and-coming channels that may not have many subscribers yet and are struggling to get going, when you hear of something like this, jump on it. Jump on it with everything you've got. It's your chance to shine in front of a bigger audience than you could ever hope to have any other way. Another one that did the same thing. That was actually flipping William Green as well, my green pets. He thought of that. It, the idea was to do my orchid collection in 60 seconds. Now, you could try searching for that. And you'll, you'll get all those, it's an old old thing, we did it well, it's quite a while ago now, maybe a couple of years. Um, but yeah, everybody tried to film their orchid collection in 60, session, 60 seconds. That's not as easy as it sounds. And some brilliant ideas came up. I mean, one guy, Zane, actually did dancing orchids, literally dancing around the screen and to music, all in time and everything. Very clever editing. Um, but yeah. Um, when something relatively big like this comes up, if you're a new channel, really jump on it. Get in there. It's a chance for you to shine, a chance for you to show some of your best orchids, um, and a chance for people to find you, which is the thing that is so difficult. And quite honestly, I've, I've, I had a look round yesterday in the evening because I couldn't find a decent film to watch. And... Compared with what sparked that off was Danny has just come to a seven, seven year anniversary. Um, and I thought, well, how long have I been messing about with YouTube? And I, I joined YouTube um, in 2015, I think it was, maybe 14. So I, that's when I joined YouTube, not when I started doing videos. Uh, that's how most people join. You know, they, they join to watch other stuff. And they join and create a channel because they want to leave comments. Yeah? And then after that, you get deeper in and you start thinking, actually, I might have a go at this. I might do a video. And then you think, no, oh, rats, I haven't got a decent camera. <laughs> Which, that's what the way I had. The, the DSLR I had at the time was a very, very good one for its day. 
who didn't do videos and my phone was absolutely well the museum wanted it when I chucked it <laughs> when I chucked it away because it was that bad <laughs> uh, but yeah and that's that's how people get into it but um trying to grow a channel is incredibly difficult little events like this give you a chance to get in there get stuck in and it's also the time to put your best effort in put your best plants up and your best effort up. That plant can just be one that you went up the store and bought yesterday, except for the fact you shouldn't be out buying plants. Get them delivered. <laughs> it's the whole point of this exercise, isn't it? We're all stuck at home. Yeah, and I'll say it again, stay at home. You just have to keep repeating it. Um, I'll let, uh, I saw a smashing Facebook thing this morning, um, and it was a, a going back to early World War II, I would think, it was a group of soldiers sort of walking up a hillside, really spread out. And one of them was carrying a donkey on his back. And you sort of think, well, what a caring guy to actually save the donkey. No, he was saving all the soldiers. They were walking through a minefield. They understood the danger. They kept spread out in case one of them trod on a mine, then at least it may only get one. Yeah? The donkey didn't understand the danger, so was carried across the minefield so that it didn't randomly run around and set the mines off and kill the soldiers. Which is why we have to look after the jackasses. Yeah? <laughs> it was the way it was twisted from a photo. Yeah? We've got to look after the jackasses and keep telling them to stay at home. Because they'll be out there, they'll be down the beach, they'll be walking around in the forest having their picnics, they'll be totally ignoring the problem. They are jackasses. If you can't see the danger yet, then, I, uh, then you never will. It's as simple as that. Anyway, I haven't stopped yet, I'm still scrolling. Now I don't know what rate these videos are going past, yeah? But the next thing I want to get on to is there's no way I'm going to be able to watch anywhere near this number of videos. Uh, we're sorting to come out, sorting to come out the end now. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to watch that number of videos or even get close, quite honestly. Um, I will do the best I can. And obviously the ones that are going to get watched are the ones on my subscriptions feed. So it's going to be those that I'm subscribed to that have loaded videos. And um, the short ones will probably get watched. Am I going to have time to leave a comment on all of them? I doubt it. But what I am going to do is something very simple. Computer stuff again. The first one I choose to watch, I'm going to write a comment. Something like, well done, thanks for taking part. And then I will select that text and do control and C, which means I'm going to copy it. And then every other one that I watch, I can just hit reply, control and V, paste, save. And it saves me typing, which means I can leave a comment on an awful lot more videos than I would have done if I tried typing each one in. OK, it's a bit tedious, everybody gets the same comment. But to me, that's better than not leaving a comment at all. It shows I've been there. Because just doing a like doesn't say I've been there. It just says, says someone's been there. Because you can't identify who leaves your likes. So I will probably do something like that. Am I going to do it today? No. This, this is going to run. Um, if you think, where am I now? What the hell's the time? The computer will tell me. It's about half past three in the afternoon here in the UK. Um, so there's parts of the states that probably haven't got their lazy whatnots out of bed yet because of the way the time zone rolls across. And there, there will be some the other side of the world, the Australia, New Zealand, um, you know, the Far East, all that sort of stuff, who will be probably thinking about going to bed. So their day may be done. So those that have taken part in this will have done it. And then they can get up tomorrow morning and see how much time they're going to spend watching all the videos. 
Uh, I don't know where we're going to get all this time from, but this is part of the uh, theory that we are all stuck indoors. Well, there's something to do, you know, makes sense to me. But yeah, the, de the day will roll across probably a, a, almost a 48-hour period. I know there's only 24 hours in a day, but, you know, where the day starts and where it ends, it's going to be a lot longer than 24 hours. And I think by the time I get up tomorrow morning... The states will have all done their thing and gone off to bed and, and thought about, you know, I've joined in, I've taken part, what a wonderful person I am. Let's hope I get a few likes and some comments and all that sort of stuff. And um, then they can get up tomorrow morning and go and see how many they can blinking watch. I'm a little bit impressed with this. Um, um, do I know that channel, Ninja Orchids? I'm not sure I know that one, but... Somebody's put some effort in here. I'm not going to be... Uh, it's favouritism. If I click on that and open it up, I, but I like the look of that. Nice font. Yeah, I like the look of that. See, now that's something else if you're doing YouTube videos. Catch people's eye, somehow. That does, or it does for me. Other people might think, well, there's no flipping orchids in that. You know, well, whatever. Different people are attracted by different things. I see quite a few as well. Why should you join your local orchid society? That's jumping on, that looks like that's jumping on a bandwagon. I'm not being rude, I'm just guessing. But that's not taking part in this, although it could be advertising it. But that's a 12 minute plus video. Um, yeah, you shouldn't take advantage of things like this. That catches my eye. You know, I'm probably not going to be able to understand it, but um, just the colours. <sighs> Strangely enough, that doesn't. That doesn't catch my eye because it's contrived to me. But yeah, you know, if you're running your own channel, um, sometimes your thumbnail will just catch people. Who's that? Oh, I was just going to say, somebody's got the same orchid as me. I thought they'd nicked a bit of my video for a minute. <laughs> oh, it's Insa. Yeah, he did actually say he had that one, but he didn't know what it was. He wanted to check against mine, which we which we did. So, but yeah, again, that yeah, that's a bit too blatant for me, anyway. Uh, but everybody has their own ideas, and oh, that's going to be William Green because that's his symbol. So, you know, he doesn't need to write lots of words and stuff like that. If you know his channel, you know that that green G is my green pets, and it's William Green. You just know that. So it doesn't need to be lots of wordy type stuff. It just needs to have something that catches the eye and says, this is me. That's my symbol. <laughs> I recognise that cat. Yeah. Recognise that orchid too. I used to have that once. Ooh, so, you know, that's caught my eye for a totally obscure reason. Um, it's not actually the one I had, but it is a Rossio Glossum. I had um, Rawdon Jester, had, being the, being the optimum word. But yeah, just coming down here, you know, there's, there's probably by tomorrow morning, UK time, there's going to be thousands of these videos. I can't watch them all. So, which ones am I going to watch? First and foremost, the people I'm subscribed to because I'll get a list of those automatically but who else gets a look in and it'll be based on doing something like this and what catches my eye and who knows I may subscribe to some new channels sometimes it will be the plant that catches my eye sometimes it will be the way it's been presented um, but yeah there's a lot there isn't there there's a lot of us to, a lot to do Nice close up there, that's caught my eye. But yeah, so so anyway, that's just a, a, a few words about what we're up to. <laughs> See now that that hasn't really caught my eye, and yet it has. It's caught my eye because it's to me very slightly annoying. Because it's not den aggregatum really, it's den lindleyi. And this is the old name. But, recently, RHS have said, no, they are synonyms, so you can carry on using that name. It's just that I never did. I don't, I don't know why. When I got mine, it was sold as Lindley I, 
and I did a bit of research on it, and that's where I found out about the you know the fact that for hundreds of years it had been called Agricartum, incorrectly by the way, because it was a Mr. Lindley I that found the flipping thing in the first place. So where the hell that name came from, I don't know. Well, it's caught my eye, hasn't it? Yeah, for a totally obscure reason. That's a bit busy, but nonetheless, it's, it's caught my eye. That's caught my eye because of the colours. Anyway, you see what I'm getting at. For those of you who are starting out, you, you need something. And um, this is a bandwagon that you can jump on merrily. That's nice. <clears throat> and it's called Linda AI. <laughs> that's caught my eye. And that's not a channel I know. Sam's Orchids. Well, we may have a look at that. But it's not one I'm subscribed to. That's caught my eye because those colours are gorgeous. That's just that channel's come up, that channel's done a lot. Yeah, I'm not sure it's one I'm subscribed to. We may have a look at that. There's the original, William Green, actually announcing the idea in the first place. But you see what I'm getting at. There's rather a lot of orchids. So the tag, the concept worked. Yeah, the search worked. Yeah. Um, this may not work, but if I click on the search again, no, it, it's got it in its head now, it's got it in its little mind. Um, if it was ordered correctly, then since we last put that search in, if I issued the search again, the latest one should have come out on top. But its little brain can't cope with that. So, Anyway, that's just some thoughts about what we're doing, the fact that it is a community thing, and the fact that it will give some up-and-coming and possibly even unknown channels a chance to get looked at so when like I say when something like this comes up jump on it and and make it a good one make it you know put a bit of effort in don't just chuck it together and try and do something a bit special that you wouldn't perhaps normally do because once you get people to open your video if you don't hold them they will go they may never come back so these are brilliant opportunities, and they don't come up often. They really don't. <laughs> but then you had to have found out about this to even know to join in, which means you would have needed to have been subscribed or watching the channels that advertised it. Yeah. So it, it's all a bit, I don't know, a bit incestuous at times. But um, anyway, that, that's just a chat about what's going on. It's far from finished. Um, but for me, for today, I've posted one of three. Um, I have two more to post. I'm going to slot this one in the middle because it may help others get involved with this. So I'm going to put this one up now, um, which is in the middle of Saturday afternoon, before tea time. <laughs> BTT. We could have a new expression, couldn't we? Yep, this is BTT, before tea time. And then I've got two more very short ones sticking more to the request. In other words, videos that are less than a minute long, just one plant. Um, so I've got another couple to post a bit later on. Um, I won't leave them till tomorrow because they'll be outside of the time zone. So I'll, I'll do them later. But I'll get this one done now. I hope it helps a bit. And don't forget, this is a way to find... If you're having trouble finding channels to watch... This is a good way of finding some channels you've never heard of and you may never have found in any other form. So it's good. Um, and don't all run off and watch everybody else's videos. Please stay with me. I know you're nice people. <laughs> See you next time. Bye for now.